Hey everybody, it's Casey July from the July Studio, coming to you live from my tablet, because when I plugged my camera in and my tripod and got all ready to roll, it immediately started flashing. So, this is not going to be my primary place to do recordings for you guys. I am going to update the quality of my recordings by using my cameras and my tripods and my lights. But for today, I want to stay on track for the goals that I've set for myself for my Patreon and my Discord and my YouTube channel. So today, I wanted to tell you a little bit about what I'm going to do with my sewing tutorials and kind of how I'm going to preface them and how I'm going to have them kind of in like categories so you guys can kind of follow through and uh, find the ones that you're looking for and try to figure out what works for you for your learning how to sew. So today I want to tell you a little bit about how I got to this point and how I decided that this is what I wanted to do. Um, I started watching YouTube a while back because I have teenagers and they have been unschooled now for about six years and YouTube has been a primary source of entertainment and learning and growing for my kids because textbooks and a lot of school um, resources are printed and they're used for years and then the information changes or science and technology changes and textbooks don't change. They use a, a textbook that was printed five, six, eight years ago and we've already discovered new things. And so following some of these YouTube channels for like my son who's into science has given him the opportunity to stay up to date on science and stay up to date on technology and grow and not be stuck. I have no idea what that is. This day is just crazy. I have absolutely no idea what that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're just gonna keep going because this is how it's gonna be. This is how YouTube's gonna be. Okay. Um, so I'm going to shout out to Boogie2988, I'm going to shout out to Nerdy Nummies, I'm going to shout out to Good Mythical Morning, and I'm going to shout out to Graveyard Girl, because those are people that have shown me over time that there are people out there that are going to hear, want to hear what you have to say. And it's not just going to be a, for financial gain. It's going to be because people want to connect. People want to find things that they have in common. They want to grow. They want to learn. So... I'm going to be doing my sewing tutorials and I'm going to try to preface them with things like beginning, intermediate, or advanced. This doesn't mean you can't watch something that's advanced if you're just beginning or that there won't be intermediate um, things in an advanced tutorial, but this is just going to kind of give you guys an idea when I'm getting started. Hey, this is going to be super easy or hey, you may want to work on some other stuff first if it's like really advanced. Um, the other thing that I want to bring to the table is I have been watching YouTube sewing videos and cosplay videos to do research and I'm finding that they fall into two categories. They either have really excellent sewing content, like really great sewing content, but there's like no entertainment value there. They're so dry. I won't say boring. I'll say dry. They're so dry. And you're like, you're learning, but you're just like, you can only take so much. And then you have the tutorials. You have the cosplay sewing tutorials where you can tell that maybe that person has no idea how to sew. And they're just trying to share. And they're like overwhelmingly full of personality or entertainment value, but you're getting like no learning or education value at all out of it. So that's kind of what I want to bring to the table is I want to try to bring to the table a little bit of both. I want to bring to the table my everyday life, my workspace, my animals, my teenagers, um, I want to kind of give you guys an insight on how crazy and awesome a creative life can be, but I also want to show you that learning to grow and learning to be 
a better person and taking really good care of yourself can be prominent in your life too. I have really, really struggled with depression. I have really, really struggled with putting my self value in what other people think of me. And I've kind of reached a pivotal moment, kind of like a midlife crisis where I have sat back and I have said to myself, look, my value comes from my children. My value comes from my art, my value comes from me as a being of light that's glowing that can reach out to other people in their dark times and say, here, I got something to show you. And if that means that this, this kind of leads into what I want from this. Okay. Two categories for me. Number one, I want to build my Patreon. I want to be able to sew and travel exclusively. I want to study historically accurate clothing. One of the things on my bucket list is I want to go to Versailles. I love anything that has to do with the French Revolution. And I want to travel and I want to see some of these beautiful pieces that were made by hand and that still exist today. So my Patreon is a representation of me having the financial backing that I need to live my life, to pay for my sewing machine, to pay for my electricity, to put food on the table. But it also represents me in a community of people that are like-minded, that are creative, or people that are supportive. If someone comes to me and says, I want a $2,000 cosplay, I don't want to make it. Here, Casey July, you make it. That's number one. That's the first thing that I want from my Patreon. Not from life, but from my financial stability. Number two, I want to help people build their self-confidence. I want to help people grow. So if you're the type of person that you're like, dude, I am dirt poor and I can't support you on Patreon, but I'm going to get on Discord and I'm going to talk to you and I'm going to tell you, hey, I sewed a zipper in for the first time correctly, or I went to my first cosplay convention in a cosplay that I made or, hey, I made a corset for my sister for her wedding. I want to know that. I want to have that connection with you. I want to have that one-on-one. -on -one. And I want to get up in the morning and check my messages and check my Patreon and be connecting with those people that are out there every day getting out of bed and going forward and working hard. And... I want to show you, like I said, you can hear my dog Lily barking. I want to show you what life looks like because this is super personal. I feel like we have a really backwards idea of what life is supposed to look like. There are a lot of YouTubers that I follow, especially makeup artists. They appear perfect. And I know how hard that is. I know how much work goes into that. I know how many hours they spend every day priming and doing their makeup and doing their rep their recording and I value them for their discipline and I value them for their their ability to be perceived as perfect it's a lot of hard work I don't want to be that I don't want to be a youtuber that people come to me because it's perfect I want to be a youtuber and I want to be a patreon that people come to me because they're like, dude, I can learn something from her. I can connect with her. And like I said, if you're someone and you're just like, I just want a really amazing dress that's one of a kind that nobody else is going to have for my wedding or for my cosplay, I want to be that person too. But I also want to be able to build a personal relationship with them. So that being said, from now on, when you come and you check out my tutorials, be watching for those terms, beginner, intermediate, and advanced, and let me know what you want to learn. Let me know what you need to, that if I like show you something and you don't understand, ask me questions, grab me on Discord. I've got some places there. There's chat rooms for sewing, steampunk. Um, cosplay, keep everything related to sewing and creativeness and 
we will uh, just build this community and a year from now we'll do a one year flashback and we'll look back at how far we come, how far we came. <laughs> I hope you have a great day. Take care of yourself and I'll see you soon.